Hello everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Don't Pick Me. I am your host, Savannah. I am Savannah. <laughs> These are my co-hosts. Me. <laughs> I am your host. I am Savannah. Woo! These are my co-hosts. Tara Chantel. Woo! Life Woo! Yes, Tara. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And we are here to tell y'all. <laughs> and we are here to tell y'all all the reasons not to pick us. Get <laughs> somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Honestly, get <laughs> somebody else. Why we do not desire to be picked? Tell us. This is a brilliant idea. Oh, how oh, we came up with the yeah, idea? How did you come up with it? Well, it was actually me and a friend of mine who is actually going to also be a host on the show. What's her name? Her name is Haley. Ooh. She's super, super vibrant, super fun, super um rambunctious. Oh, she's spicy. Yeah, her. like yeah, she like. She a lot. She like a lot. she like you on crack a little bit actually. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Times ten. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the ideas we were just um, we were just relating on a lot of different topics involving um, just um, the lack of desire to um, be like everyone else around us or to conform to society's standards of beauty. Um, she switch up a wig every day, Ooh, but also right. wear her natural hair. Ooh. She look. She got. A, she got a white boyfriend. She went with his white family and wore a different wig every day. I and love that for her. Yeah, they still wore her natural hair when they went. To, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I love that. So it's like not caring what anybody thinks, but just yeah. showing yeah. that you, whoever you, yeah, yeah, whatever you, you are, are yeah. Yeah. just be. But she's just such an artist, so she expresses herself um, yeah. through like her her the way she dresses or the, her hair. Yeah. You know, three different artists express themselves in different ways. Sure do. I would love. To get your definition of womanhood, what like what does womanhood look like? What does it mean to you? Mm. Wait, first of all, let's like all real quick. So y'all already know me. Obviously, I'm Savannah. I'm the flexibility trainer, the alien. Ooh. I travel the world and I teach um, flexibility workshops. Y'all already know this, but my co-hosts are actually amazing women. Yes, and they have businesses of their own and okay. platforms of their own. And um, yeah, tell them about y'all. No, no, my you know, oh, Why are you gonna go to me first? You. Oh, yes. I want to hear about you, baby. Oh, uh, look. Well, I am. I am Tara Chantel. I am a self-love advocate and I'm a spiritual activist. And I really feel like this connection is so divine. When I see you, I see me. Having this true love in, within myself, so I see love all around me. So I just see the beauty, I see the love, and I see the great qualities just women have overall. And the fact that we don't have to define ourselves in a certain put us in a box. Yeah. It's no, it's no. We all are so multifaceted. We are all so different and so unique, and we can only shine by being ourselves. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. 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 And now we care, Chantel, baby. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay, so I am Life with Coach Dom. I am a life coach, and I am a mental health advocate. Um, in a recent master's in clinical and mental health <laughs> and I am really dedicated to helping people connect with their self through wellness and mental health. It's gonna feel shitty, some days it's gonna feel amazing, but doing the work to get yourself from surviving to thriving is Ooh. gonna be worth Ooh. it. From surviving to thriving. From surviving. And the passion to heal and to help mm -hmm. others because I yes, experienced I that my Yes, Ooh, and I love yes. that. Yes. I like that was the connection. Yo, yes. The fact that y'all both be spitting bars, y'all both poets though, like we're just on rhythm. Look, I'm not on. I'm not on Coach Don level. No, no, I, no, I, 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 I,
other. In so many different grow ways. Each other. Yeah. I learned so much from y'all. I've learned mad shit from y'all like this. Yeah. So, and I'm like, it's been 24 hours. Like how y'all are so PG and I just be cursing all the time. I love oh, it. I be cursing. I love it. Okay. okay. I am on your right now. Yes, so we have a guest with us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So look, oh my God, we have a guest. So we have a we have a board. We have a guest in here. Let's come on over yes. here from Moja. Moja Star. Hey, Moja Star is an artist, a recording artist. She has an amazing voice. She has a song out now called Hypnotic Soul. If okay. you check the video in my story of me holding the birds, her song is on there. It's beautiful. The support is so real. Much. Yes, the it is. is real. I mean, like well, once once you realize. Once you realize that um, me supporting it, you supporting anybody else around you won't ever take away from what Yo, life has in store for you. Using me for my platform, it's like oh, I'm not worried about it. But to be honest, like, would it take anything away from my platform? Yeah, yeah. Like, but collaboration, yeah, like, what would I exactly? It's, you like, you know, like, what it really have something to give, right? Because it's not always every. When I serve, I serve, and I feel like that is why I'm blessed. The yeah, way I'm blessed. because you because did it's not yes. all because I. Why do you because you're on vacation um giving therapy sessions? <laughs> but but no, but the fact that how you came here of service as well, if you really have a mission to heal the woman, I think yes. you that. Uh, y'all so good. sweet. <laughs> and like y'all are an entire vibe. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. First episode of Don't Pick Me. me. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All Cheers. at the same time. Okay, I was oh. one, two, three. Don't, Don't pick, pick me. me. Oh, you still have to do what is womanhood. Yeah, okay. To me? Yeah. Please. Cause you are, she heals the woman. Okay. Can, can I give my girl flowers? The fact that you are on a mission to heal the woman. You just said in the car, like the reason most women- This is God's mission. Woo! Like I'm God's mission. You have to uplift us to have self-respect as women for ourselves, to value ourselves as women, to look at ourselves as higher as women. Yeah, I think I think um, the quality of the woman has been so distorted. Absolutely. Especially because of social media mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. our standards and overall, not saying mine or any of theirs mm -hmm. or maybe some of y'all's, but the standards are so low now. Mm -hmm. The bar is in hell. The, the bar is in mm -hmm. <laughs> hell. It's close, baby. Look, if it ain't there, it's it's there. Me, it's put it on the floor. They can put the ball on the floor. Put it on the floor. Put it on the floor. I mean, baby, lift it up. Right. Lift it up. Actually, lift, lift it up. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah. So I feel like, but I've been meeting so many women who um. Their goal is to also heal the woman, and they also realize that the key to, to a more peaceful world is um, more healed women. Yes. Because we raise more healed children. Yes. We you know, simply because we project our healing onto everyone around us. Yes. Whether it's our friends or our partners yes. or yeah. um, our children, obviously. But like, it's or just our like, clients. Our right? clients. Yes. Right. But like, in right. most in most yeah. cases, in most cases, a healed man is just a healed man, and even if. It's in, and in most cases, even when he is doing work to heal, it's more for um, a, a ego boost. And I say it, but I mean it. It's yeah, external, like it's, but yeah, I don't internal. think. I think that we naturally have like a, um, the urge to like nurture and heal everything that we come in contact with. And that's, I can't say that's the same for every woman because that would just be a lot. However, for the masses. At our core. And yes, at our core. And for the masses, for the majority of women, we are healers naturally. And yoga. We, will sac we sacrifice so much more than the man does, yes. than the male species in general. Like, the woman just sacrifices so much. And, um, yeah, for me to give back and pour into them like that, it's you a pleasure. So, you do it so gracefully. Yes. Oh, so effortlessly. Look. Like, you are on purpose, mm -hmm. right on time. You are God's gift. God gift to the world, baby. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> to the world. Right. But the woman is gone. The woman is gone. The woman is gone. The woman is gone. But I mean, it's the fifth one. All women are um are look are, 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 are gifts to the world. Yes. We all oh are. Oh my God, man. I really, yeah. I don't see color no more. We come through a portal. We have a portal of our own. Yeah. Yeah. But I love a black woman. You feel me? I love y'all. Look, I love y'all. What's happening? What's up, Shana? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? 
Nothing. How are y'all doing? We don't lie. What did I say? How are y'all doing? She's a massage therapist. Relax and go. Relax and go in Chicago, Southside, baby. I travel everywhere. Though. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. She, even out west, west, baby. Even out west. And Puerto Rico. And Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. We out there. In the islands too. Shit. Yeah. You know, it's the mother. I feel like as women, like sometimes, I like to put us in the back Like we were even all talking about how. Because a lot of us, all of the women are honey, except for um, Tara over here is the only woman here who is not a mother. I intentionally say, <laughs> loud as I said it. Yeah. And I meant that stand on this. She's that ass, okay? Baby, she did. 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 She did